everyone, welcome to this special edition of Talk Time. My guest today is filmmaker Rima Das, basking with the success of a third and latest feature film, Bulbul Can Sing, that won the Rajat Kamal as the best Assamese film at the recent 66th National Film Awards, besides, of course, picking up coveted prizes in film festivals across the world. Rima Das, once again, welcome to my show. Thank you. Thank you. Pleasure. Always a pleasure to have <laughs> you also with me in the studios Same or here. outside. Same here. Well, you see, Bulbul Can Sing, yet another fascinating story, yet another set of amateur actors, and yet again, set in your very own Kaladia village around right. Soigao. Yeah. So what has changed? What do you have to say in your own words? about Bulbul Can Sing? It changed because like when I was uh, making my first film, then I had a crew, then village rockstars, then I like yeah. decided to go almost alone, like only Malika Das, my cousin sister helping me. Yeah. And that time during the village rockstars, I was, although I started alone, but I, I somehow I had that self doubt that uh, is it possible to make a feature film almost alone, alone. like uh, yeah. autonomously? So uh, also it was a quite a learning process for me for three and a half years. So when I was making Bulbul, definitely I was quite uh, sure about certain things and uh, more confident and uh, maybe that, that's the reason it took me lesser time than Village Rockstars. Uh, but uh, compared to Village Rockstars, Bulbul Can Sing, it was a more complex film for me because the characters are complex. And when, uh, in, in like when I was making Village Rockstars, I, I was handling mostly children. Yeah. But when Bulbul Can Sing, I was handling teenagers, and I found them uh, more moody. And moody. Yes. Okay. Yes. Because this is a very delicate age, I believe, and uh, so I had to go through all those... Uh, no, I think uh, yeah. when you say that teenagers more moody and this is the delicate yes. age, the yes. teenage years of yes. an individual, but that is the whole thing about, that is the film about uh, yes. discovering one's relationships, right. one's uh, perhaps yes. uh, discovering, I mean, one's own identity and sexuality, whatever true, you call it. True, uh, yeah. So you, you thought about how long did you take to you know conceptualize and what what made you write this for this script? I first thing when I came uh, like if I started uh, Man with the Binoculars that time it was a retired geography teacher. I don't know how come that time I decided to you yeah. know my main protagonist will be a retired geography teacher like around the 65 years old. But when Village Rockstars, I it was a connecting with my roots. You know, I was living in Mumbai, so I was back, and I was really connecting with uh, the children. Yeah. And then I also became a children, and I lived yeah. uh, like a child with them. You know, playing around and uh, like under the sky. It was beautiful. It it was a pure bliss for me. So when I finished Village Rockstars, then it came to my mind, what is next? Then definitely yeah. I thought it's, it, I should make a teenage movie. And so Bulbul is, then it, it came, it like, I think it took time to uh, write the story, uh, like almost uh, six months. And then I developed and I, uh, because I didn't have a bound script like, uh, village Rockstars and yeah. the Bulbul the same way. So I was writing and shooting. First, uh, mostly uh, started connecting with my characters and slowly I was uh, editing, writing together. Right. So, yes. Yeah. Now, you know, uh, yes. you were in Melbourne uh, yes. when you heard the news that your film yes. has won the Rajat Kamal this time. Your earlier film has won the Swarna Kamal uh, and it was uh, uh, mega star Shah Rukh who yeah. actually announced uh, so uh, I mean of course a lot of people were thinking everybody knew that Bulbul and Bulbul Can Sing is also going to uh, you know do extremely well yes. but how did you react and uh, I mean you were expecting this? I expected more uh, because I this film uh, it, it like I think from India this time as well as Village Oxus also mostly travel film from India 
and uh, bulbul uh, although village rocks was stable to more than bulbul like but still bulbul was interestingly uh, village rocks the bigger festival was uh, Toronto International Film Festival, yeah. but if you see Bulbul Khan Singh, Bulbul was in Toronto and surprisingly it was it in premiered actually premiered at the Toronto, Toronto International Film then Festival. Also European premiere, it was in Berlin International Film Festival, that's great I the think. Berlin, yeah. Berlin, yes. And then also Asia's like biggest film festival, Busan, it was also in Busan and it was in yeah. UK, Edinburgh, it was also one of the biggest in UK, then AFI. And so we had some uh, expectation, but then also the uh, last two years, I'm taking very gracefully, like whatever comes our yeah, way. And absolutely. I think, yes, and different jury, different uh, day. So, uh, yes. so how are you handling this, uh, Rima? Uh, you know, Antar Dristi, the man right. with the binoculars, and after that, that was... Uh, I don't know how much was it noticed, but yes, village mm. rock star uh, took you to superstardom and now Bulbul can sing. How easy or difficult it is for someone like you to handle the recognition, the attention? How do you feel? Does it encourage you? Does it make you more responsible? How do you feel? Only thing changed is like, yeah, that confidence level, I'm more calm and how I'm handling every month, all like all the time I'm busy, you know, and I feel uh, it's challenging for me and also responsible definitely. But uh, I am always I'm taking it very gracefully and finally like, uh, you know, the, it's it what matters, you know, my yeah. happiness matters most and the attention like because I, I saw hardship in my life. I saw hardship and also maybe connecting with my roots also helped me. So that's the reason all the attention also I enjoy, but... Uh, Absolutely. Yeah. You know, you know this particular film, it's, uh, it talks about relationship, how the discovery of one's own identity by these teenage characters in the film. Right. Uh, is it biographical? To some extent, no, uh, not well, really. It's not, not really. really. Okay. Yeah, now, it's not biographical, but definitely, I also I am born and brought up in that uh, village. The settings uh, are extremely original. Yeah, extremely original, and also definitely when you are making art, like it, it somehow it is always a reflection of ourselves. So it's not biography, but definitely what I have experienced, my friends has experienced, and also interestingly, because we were like long back, we, we used to be like teenage. Yeah. But uh, now when I I wanted to know how the situation uh, for the teenagers, yeah. because we are living in a digital world, many things have changed. But uh, surprisingly, not much has changed. That is what I realized. That conservatism still remains it despite is, the progress, despite yes, modernism, yes, despite right, living in a digital. Right. Uh, we are still, I think, a conservative very much, society. Very much. Yeah. Is it applicable to, are you talking about the Asmi society? When you talk about conservatism, is it Asmi society that you think is conservative? Because you have traveled all around the globe, yeah, all is. around the world. You I think people. all over is same in certain extent. It de depends on, you know, like, but, but mostly I think it's the same. Yeah. Mostly it's the same. Yeah. That is a very interesting <laughs> comment made by uh, Rima Das that although we are in the digitalized, fast-paced, yes. modern world, but yes, somewhere or the other, society is still very, very conservative. And that is not just true to Asmi society, but see things, Rima Das thinks that is the case in most parts of the world. We'll go for a short break. Don't go away. I'll be right back in conversation with filmmaker Rima Das. Welcome back. I am in conversation with celebrated filmmaker Rima Das. Uh, Rima, we have been talking about Bulbul Can Sing, the making of Bulbul Can Sing. Uh, now, you know, I have read reviews of Bulbul Can Sing, not reviews in the Indian media, but international reviews. Yeah. Everybody is just fascinated with the fact that you are using stunning original imagery. You know, the pictures, the yeah. setting, the locale. Uh, everything is so original, mm -hmm. so stunning. They're saying that whatever little deficiency that you may have technically, that is that is a 
no consequence. The film is so rich in content. Everybody is praising that. So when you hear such reviews, uh, when people tell you that, how do you use stunning images? You come back again and again to Choigao, to Kalardia, yeah. to those villages. Uh, yes, and I feel really good. Sometimes I cry, you know, when audience or critics, they really write uh, this kind of uh, reviews. They, I, it, I feel overwhelmed, like it really gives me strength also, inspires me. And my images are, the way they are saying is it looks original because I looked at them just the way yeah. they are. I don't certain, although we, when I am writing the story, I have my imagination but not away from the real life, you know. Definitely the story, if you saw like uh, Village Rockstars as well as Bulbul, the loss of situation I have created but it is not away from the real life. I always uh, take care of that, that. I think that helped me and also the, yes, the, the way life it is, yeah. I always like to see now, that way. there are a lot of texts and subtexts, uh, that's what I understand mm. in film Bulbul Can Sing. Uh, for example, your protagonist, the main character, uh, she handles two different kinds of situations. She is an angry, angry girl <laughs> at one stage, yes, uh, and at the yes. same time, she is a shy girl, right. the very next stage. True. So, uh, I mean, these are, these are ideas that are juxtaposed in one right. character, plots and subplots, yes, subtext within right, the film. Right. Uh, does it, do you do it to keep the attention of the viewers or, or do you think the story demands that? It is not story demands that or uh, like kind of, uh, that I don't know, but the only thing I know is like when I watch movies, I like mostly non-linear non stories, you know, unconventional films. I'm more, I don't like, you know, very linear yeah. stories. So that way when I make it, because life is also uh, like that, I, I feel like, you know, it, it just uh, most of the, Sometimes it is, there is no end, you know. And, Every, and, you and everything is not yes, black and white. Yes. There is a lot of gray area in between. Always, always. And also our characters. I am yeah. different here. When I am home, I am different, you know. And uh, I, I even don't know. Like some, sometimes I react, I also get angry. So when I was looking at, because uh, like Dhunu from Village Doxas, she was a different girl. Yeah. After that, I, I thought how, how to create a different characters. And when I started shooting with Bulbul and observing, then I realized, you know, her character is, it, it has those shades. So I didn't want a girl always like, you know, always she is nice. Yeah. So I wanted the complexity, no. I love that complexity of the character and because that her inner, because as well as it is external, it is more her internal journey, how she feels. So, and also she coming from that village and from that family, also she is a rebel, but also she is not uh, in her own limitation, you know, not breaking all the boundaries, you Absolutely. know. Absolutely, yeah. So, yes. And now, now you know, uh, what I'm from village rock star onwards to now. Mm -hmm. It has been a very, very fascinating uphill journey for you. Uh, question is, uh, are you are you been able to, you know, drive home the point that you are an Indian, you are from Assam, you are from a, this film is set in a remote part of Assam. Do you think people have been able to connect with a place called Assam very much, with your films? Very much, you know, I was just, I'm coming from Toronto and people like just meet me and telling me that we are waiting and we want to see that world, you know, the world you have created. And uh, interestingly, uh, when I was traveling to Berlin and uh, Toronto and other places, the teenagers also from uh, that uh, those places, they can connect. That's, that's the very interesting ha thing happened because with the village yeah. access also, I was thinking how the urban kids they are going to react, react. Uh, but but interestingly they are they can connect you know so that's the human emotions i so think everywhere same what is the moral of the story moral of the story to me is that you know big that bulbul budget, can big, sing no bulbul can <laughs> bulbul can sing of course bulbul yes. can sing bulbul will sing uh, but the point is you know the moral of the story perhaps is that you know multi million dollar hollywood yes. movies uh, we were just, you, you have just heard about the, we, we, we all know that India's moon mission, 
when Chandrayaan was launched, a lot of people were saying, oh, the cost of yeah. Chandrayaan was only 970 uh, lakh, uh, 70 crore rupees, less than 1,000 crore. And people were saying that a Bollywood movie is much more than 1,000 crore, one single yeah. Bollywood film. Now, yes. you are making a film yes. in a very small budget. Yes. So, but yet you have been able to sort of, you know, catch the attention. That is what I was coming to. Mm -hmm. You have been able to catch the attention of people around the world. Right. That interest you have yes. been able to generate yes. with your authentic portrayal. Yeah. This is something you have learned? Yeah, that definitely. And that, that is all because of if it, it, it doesn't matter when you started watching a film. Like it doesn't, they don't see it, it's a big budget or like low budget, they don't look at it. They just want to connect with the story and the characters. If, if you can connect the audience with your story and characters, it just works. That is what I learned, you know. And it also depends on, for me, I, di I had limited resources, so I made it like that. Yeah. And uh, and it, it, it is big budget or small budget, finally, but you, you, that authenticity should be there. I think. Right. Yes. But, but maybe, yeah. maybe, if suppose you'd have had very big budget with you, right. I don't think you would have been able to make village rock stars or bulbul bul can definitely, sing. Definitely, no. Yes, I couldn't. I couldn't. Because now also I was making a short film for Bricks Country. Yeah. Uh, that also I shot in my village only Kaladia and okay. the first time the whole village was lit now I had a crew and uh, but I was missing something you know that solitude and the connection with the people and the beauty of the land you know that is only possible when I'm alone and definitely in future I'm going to make movies with a crew but uh, I don't want to uh, like stop this process but because this is very organic yeah and it, it I if someone now also give me lots of money to make village oxes and bulbul I don't think with money I can make. absolutely yeah. the moral of the story there <laughs> big budget if Rima Das would have had perhaps you would not the world would not have seen authentic organic films like village rock stars or for that matter bulbul can sing he has also given a hint that see, we'll make films with a crew. I'm going to talk on that. Don't go away. I will be right back in conversation with filmmaker Rima Das. Welcome back. I'm still in conversation with ace filmmaker Rima Das. Uh, Rima, you're, we all know everybody's favorite, the writer R.K. Narayan. Uh, you know, R.K. Narayan's most of his stories were set in the South Indian village of yes. Malgudi, yes. starting with Malgudi days yes. and so on and so forth. Yeah. Now, you are setting your entire story so far in Kalardia, and you have yeah. said that soon you might use a crew. That's not my question. My okay. question is, uh, have you been now approached by producers uh, from around the world to make a film that is as yes. an universal and international yes. appeal? Yes. Have you been approached? Right, yes. So what are you working on now? I'm working something I'm writing like uh, I, we are going to shoot in Bombay. Bombay. Yes, and definitely Assam also. The, we are making another film in Assam. So for now, I'm in India. <laughs> now you're in India. So yes. where are you going to go out of India and I, make a film? I don't know. I just last, uh, before Toronto, uh, I got a mail that uh, Canada, uh, from Canada, yeah. like, we need filmmakers like you. We need they are ready to give me <laughs> citizenship. Canadian there. citizenship? Yes. No, we will not like you to go <laughs> and become a Canadian <laughs> citizenship. Uh, maybe if it's a I dual citizenship, so. it is fine. <laughs> I don't have plan. I, I, we have so many stories and I mm -hmm. belong here. So definitely I would love to mm -hmm. make movies. Now, yes. you're, you're, uh, now, are you going to, I mean, like, you know, now we have, uh, you see, uh, SMS Films is also now coming up and yes. you have also contributed your, yes. your bit. You, you are inspiring a lot of filmmakers now. Uh, we have done some commercial successes uh, with uh, Zubin Garg's film and uh, Jotin Bora is coming yes. up with his. So these are different genres, but yes, yes SMS Cinema is yes. on an upswing. Yes. Do you get that feeling? As well? Yes, yes, definitely. I get that feeling uh, more aggressively coming out, you know, campaigning also, trying mm -hmm. to reach audience and audience also responding and supporting, coming to the theatre. 
So it's a good thing happening and if you see the social media also they are more you know like want to share and uh, you get also lots of comments from them they want to you know like be in the conversation they want to know eager to know more so they are that awareness is there and it's changing yeah. and it's very interesting awareness and we is are there. now be we should be more responsible so that we don't let down let down our audience so so yeah. so you think uh, filmmakers must come up with good content good treatment good stories definitely definitely and also local stories that is what i believe you know because we already have so many stories we don't need to follow and you know so, See, some uh, some uh, i have been i have been uh, discussing on asmus film industry uh, mm -hmm. on, on my shows right. uh, for for the last couple of weeks I've done two three shows now my question yeah. is you know we had Assam cinema had gone through a really bad time bad mm -hmm. phase I would mm -hmm. say it started very well we had fantastic movies then suddenly for a couple of years uh, we were not doing well that you know disheartened many people do you now think looking back that at the end of the day if you make a good film people will definitely come and see the film I, I definitely believe that yeah because if people go and uh, watch this like uh, mobile theater then why not films you know and it is that environment is coming i think we need more theaters also and uh, yeah that's the reason we have to keep making good films that is also very important because they if they come and they like two films and then the, if they don't like the other four films then it will be again difficult i think so we need to be more responsible and we should like some somehow we should look beyond and we should also l learn like what is actually filmmaking you know like uh, what is the difference between theater uh, and the film you know that is also very important because now uh, earlier it was very different now we have so many windows open yeah. you know we have ott yeah. platforms yeah. so we have access to so many other other like me digital media like this all everything is there so that's the reason audience are they are much more smarter and there is we can see a new class of audience rising so we we need to be also new class of think about audience uh, yes, rising and yes. and and do you think now with the spread of social media yes. do you think people have been able to appreciate cinema as an art much better than what they used to earlier i think so i think so yeah they are they are they really looking for they are more hungry for a uh, content driven films and because they have access they can see world cinema what is happening you know so that they are aware like so they can they can see the difference they are much more smarter i think so the so. so for a regional filmmakers let's since you are from assam let's talk mm -hmm. about uh, assam so for the assamese filmmakers now it's a do or die I, either you do good films or you forget about it I mean that stage has come because people yeah, are able to is. appreciate world cinema right. today. Yeah, definitely. It's a do or die phase. Yes, yes, definitely. If you're doing it, then do give your best. You know, it is not like a part-time job. You know, you have you you have to focus it and you have to learn it and you have to be there. You know. Do yes. you do you uh, get the inspiration sometimes to come up? See, now you are making films with very very simple stories, mm -hmm. life experiences of people, yeah. presenting them nature. In its uh, pristine form, I would yes, say. Yes. Yes. Do you get this sense that sometimes you're going to make a political film? Uh, because I if, if, you, if you look at Assam, it's a highly political I place. <laughs> I, I understand, and if I have the freedom to express really what I want to, then definitely I'll make a political film. Because whatever I do, I really want to do <laughs> uh, like a very authentic way. But not recently, I think, because now I want to say more inspirational stories, more relationship. I like. people i love people actually yeah. people always inspires me so i am looking for i love ordinary we consider ordinary people but for me they are extraordinary so i am looking the more the army is extraordinary yes. for you that is what i think mm -hmm. yes yeah so so political film political is a big no film, for the time being it is not no but for time being yes Okay, yes, so yeah. that's interesting, uh, and and as you as you have been repeatedly saying that uh, you know in Assam there are no dirt of stories. There's there's enough stories even yes. even now stories lots. to be told. We have we have so many, you know, cultural variations, language, languages, so many. I feel like so restless to say it. we have so many stories. We have so many tribes, you know. and they are so beautiful look at the color of clothes music everything we have yeah 
and yes. and you know i have to wrap up this interview but <laughs> but i have i want to ask you one question you know uh, you have made three films there has been extraordinary responses to village rock stars and uh, bulbul can sing uh, now do you think that your films regional films or for that matter your films mm. are more appreciated abroad then within the country do you get that feeling no, sometimes no not at all that's very interesting and surprisingly when i was making movies because i was very sure that i'm not making a bollywood movies i don't have that money and i i didn't have the drive also to make in bollywood films because i started watching a uh, world cinema and i'm not from also f- uh, like coming from any film school right. so self taught so i was more inspired by world cinema and uh, but that time i thought i uh, why i'm making movies in the in the beginning i was making movies so that my films go to film festivals yeah. but when i was i met village rockstars that time also because there is no background score right. there are lots of silences it is not it is not a structured film uh, but uh, surprisingly i'm really amazed by audience's response, response. and they no. they can get so much i think is is both uh, in like in india and outside india abroad it the same it's way it's the same uh, yes. my final question to you uh, very briefly yeah. why should people come and watch bulbul can sing in your own words why Because should they come and see bulbul can sing <laughs> Because bulbul can sing okay yes. we'll wait and see thank how bulbul you. sings on thank the theaters you. rima thank you very thank much you. for thank being you so on my much. show thank you pleasure